Hello. Um, I will be doing problem 938 on Little, which is called Range Sum of Binary Search Tree. So, given a root node of a binary search tree, return the sum of values of all nodes between L and R. The binary search tree is guaranteed to have unique values. So, in this example above, um, we are given this binary search tree and the left of 7 and R of 15. So it's, it's shown as an array because you can also encode a binary search tree as an array um, in that uh, the first node would be, 10 would be the root node, and then 5 and 15 would be the children of 10, and 3 and 7 will be the children of 5, the next two will be the children of 15. Um, so, given that this is a binary search tree versus a regular tree, I don't think that really helps us uh, with the problem. Um, I think we'll still have to look at all the nodes in order to... Um, we, we can skip off on some nodes, I guess. Yeah, we can... Let's start out with looking at all the nodes, and let's see how we can uh, make that a bit better later. So. Um, let's start with writing a function called range sum BSD. So it takes in the root L and R, and um, this will be a recursive function. So uh, the we will want to call this function on the left and right node. But uh, let's think about what this function would return. This function will return the sum, the range sum of the subtree. So subtree would include itself, so let's have a result equal to zero, and let's say if the root is in between L and R, then uh, we should add the value to the root. So then, if root that value is greater than or equal to L, and root that value is less than or equal to R, then we want to add the root of value to the results. And now we want to um, find the sub, we want to do the problem recursively and add the results from the left and right, if they exist. So if uh, root.left, then result plus equal to root.left, the recursive call of root.left, which is uh, this, L and R stay the same because they're constant between the whole um, function. So if we got right exists, then we want to also call the recursive function. And we want to then return the results of the three values combined to the current node, the, the results of the left node, and the results of the right node. Great. So let's see if this works. So I will call this function here on the root L and R and in the code. So it looks like it's working on um, this example right here. Um, I think there's one optimization that we can do in that if the, let's see. So, if the current node is so, if the current if the left node is
Yeah, so if the current node is less than if the current node is less than left value, then there's no point in looking at the left subtree because all those values are all going to be less than the left left value. So um, we want to ensure that the current node is greater than the left value if we want to continue looking at the left node. So and root that val is greater than the left value. And the same could be applied to the right side. Uh, so works. Let's try submitting it, and uh, seems to be fine. 